the most important and powerful organ in the human body according to the brain. So imagine what the brain can do to affect your reality. They say our memories make us who we are, but some of these memories can make life very difficult and that is so true. Everyone at some point has had an experience in life that was so painful that it made everyday life and mundane tasks difficult to cope with. We're all familiar with emotional pain. Pain that can make you stagnant and hinder your quality of life. We've all heard that old adage that time heals all wounds, and while this is true, imagine if you could control how quickly you recover from emotional trauma. What if you could relieve your pain in a matter of days or weeks rather than months or years? Learning how to set in motion a speedy healing process for your mental and emotional well-being is crucial. A turn of mind to help you move forward after a distressing life experience. Painful, embarrassing and traumatic memories have an annoying habit of accumulating over the course of an average lifetime, but there is a great solution to all of this. Erasing bad memories from our brains may sound like science fiction, but scientists today say that it could soon be a reality. But I, as a regular guy and not as a doctor, say that it has always been a reality. The brain has the power to remember, to make things up, to hallucinate, to forget, and also to erase. If you have been through some painful experience and it's affecting your life, this is the best method you should try. Many people today are using meditation to cure their body. With meditation, you can help your body cure itself by itself. All you have to do is go to a calm area, close your eyes and ears because they are easily distracted. Now breathe and think about your breath for a few minutes till your body relaxes. You can picture yourself in a dark room. If you can see that clearly, it means you are in a perfect meditation mode. Now you can start focusing on the pain and envision yourself curing it with your own energy. You can create your own method, by the way. Like for example, you can make your brain envision your energy as a blue light and the pain is darkness. Make that blue light attack the darkness and wipe it out like in the science fiction movies. Remember to put all your energy and power in that light as if it was a real energy because it will eventually become a real energy. Do it many times and you will feel that your body is getting better and better. This is how I usually do it to reduce my blood pressure occasionally by the way. Now, why not use the same method to erase a bad memory? Perhaps it may not be possible to erase it 100%, but making it look like something you don't really care about is literally like erasing it completely because useless memories never affect you. They get forgotten quickly. So make that bad memories look useless to you. Imagine there are two brothers, identical twins. Their mother falls ill and eventually succumbs to her sickness. One brother retreats to his room, dwelling on the sadness of his loss. He rarely leaves the house or even goes outside, reliving the loss of his mother over and over. The other brother continues his daily routine and practices this technique, focusing his energy on quelling the pain of his loss. Which one will heal faster? The brother who continued with his routine got over it because he added new events and memories to his mind. Those new memories somewhat replaced the old ones and made him forget the pain and think of new memories. The other brother, however, didn't make any new experiences to add to his mind, so he's still drowning in his sorrows. So what if we do the same thing that the first guy did without having to live two months of new memories? What if we trick our brain to delete the sad memories or make them look like secondary memories and get over any painful moment? Of course, you may never fully recover from such a loss. However, putting this technique into practice is a way to keep such debilitating emotional pain from taking over your life so you can get back to being yourself and enjoy your life again. If you made up the story like you had a car accident and told everybody about it, you have to know that your brain at that time was not registering that accident as a memory, which means you might forget about it in a period of time. Somebody might come back a few weeks later and ask you what happened to the car. You would get nervous and would have to make up a new story and it might not match with what you said before you look like a liar, which clearly you are. 
So what you didn't do here is register the lie as a memory. That is why your brain didn't remember it well. Now this is what you should do to register that made up memory. Picture the same story and imagine yourself in that car living that accident. Literally picture it in your head as if it was a movie or something that really happened to you. Picture the pain, the wounds, people screaming, the damage that was caused. Picture everything for a few times till it's all clear to you. And when you tell everybody about it this time, you will be able to answer all the questions without a single mistake. And the more you repeat the story, the more you believe it. Because it really happened inside your mind and you already considered it as reality. If you repeat it many times, you may not even remember that it was a story that was made up by you. The good spies usually do this to not get caught by a lie detector or polygraph. It's similar to cognitive behavioral therapy, a form of psychotherapy that treats problems and boosts happiness by modifying dysfunctional thought patterns and behaviors. You're essentially changing the way you view your situation since you can't change the situation itself, focusing your mind on the healing rather than the trauma. The same technique is used by people in specialized security services, such as spies and undercover agents. They will walk themselves through a fabricated scenario or a backstory over and over, embellishing on the details, giving it all the necessary qualities to commit it to memory until it's indistinguishable from a memory. This is how they fool polygraph tests. This is also what narcissists do. Now we all have a degree of narcissism, is what drives us to improve and become the best version of ourselves. However, narcissists, psychopaths and sociopaths, people with that unhealthy level of narcissism, cannot distinguish between a lie they have conjured and committed to memory or a memory itself. This is how they fool themselves and others. This works. This is why it's used as a form of psychotherapy. So now we learn that the brain is able to make up the story and believe it. What makes you think that the brain is not able to delete a story, pain or anything? Think about it. All you have to do is meditate and focus on the pain or story or life experience. If it's a bad memory, whether it hurts in the heart or in the brain, picture a light of whatever color you wish as your energy. Make it go right to the place where it hurts and make that light wipe it out slowly. Do it many times till you believe it. If it doesn't work for you, do it again and again and again till it works because it will work. It works for me. Why wouldn't it work for you? Please don't use this method to lie to people. Use it to cure yourself and cure others. Use it to erase the bad memories that are affecting your daily life. To those who are affected by love, if you feel something for someone who doesn't care about you for any reason, it doesn't mean that they are bad people. It just means that their role in your story is over. Understand that they are just looking for someone else. This someone could be worse than you or better. You shouldn't care. Convince your brain that you can always find better because there is always better. Erase that person from your heart and your brain and your face will start to shine again. And the perfect person for you will find you because you are now the real you. I know it's hard to do, but it's not impossible. Just try it. Our brain is powerful. Try to control it. Don't let it control you.